So this is what failure looks like. Uh, the power went out at the school. Uh, I guess it was Saturday night and I had assumed that it wasn't out long enough. I uh, came back on Monday and didn't really notice any dead fish, uh, but tried feeding our fish and we didn't uh, have a whole lot of movement in the pool. Um, biological action took place and bacteria decomposition caused gases to fill up and then today uh, when I came out to the greenhouse all of our fish were floating because of the gases filling up in their uh, internal structures. So. Uh, this is what we have now. So that's like a quarter of a bucket of uh, dead fish. Um, I would guess there's probably about 35 or 40 fish in there. Um, and these are the ones that we've been raising for uh, a little over a year now. Most of them are between 10 and 12 inches. So um, I guess the moral of the story is we need to make sure that we have some backup power. So when we have power outages, uh, I'm not killing off all of our fish. Uh, the weird thing was though that our aquaponic system, um, all of the fish inside of there uh, seemed to do just fine. I didn't have any deaths the way that we did in the pool. And the only thing I can figure is must be uh, the chiller had the temperature of the water cool enough that maybe it retained enough oxygen over the period of time that the um, that the power was out. So uh, live and learn, I guess. Uh, well, I guess we'll get better at what we're doing for the next time.